Hello folks, and yes, we are back once again with Scottish Vapes. Um, today it's like a more of a story with how I got the mod, and I'll go into the mod and do a review and let you know where to buy it. <laughs> uh, right, first things first, you guys know the script. I'm not one of these big people that have companies falling over their arses sending me shit. And so I don't have all the newest shit. However, hopefully pretty much soon I will be getting a Wismic RX300 and the Rue tank. So hopefully I can do those two together or separately and I will do a comparison with the RX200, which feels really fucking small to me since I've been using the Hydra Max up for a while. Um, today we have the Cool Fire 4. Now it's not the Cool Fire 100, TC, we don't have the Kill Fire 18650. This is the very first edition of the Kill Fire 4 series, which is a built in. Oh, what was that again? Mm, 2000 mAh battery, 40 watts maximum. Now, before I do get into this, uh, what I will say is that uh, this particular mod, um, I only got for one particular reason, it's because the one I had got stolen. Um, yeah, I had a Kangertech sub tank and a, what was that, a Smok BT-50 box mod. Um, it was the first box mod I ever had. Um, single 18650 done 50 watt. And I paid 80 quid for that. <laughs> uh, you know, you can get it for something like 30 quid. So, um, it's really evolution of how far they came along. Yeah, I went to a rugby club um, here in Edinburgh. And um, I remember leaving my mod next to my bag. Should have put it in it. But I didn't. And when I came back, I could not find it anywhere. And I was obliterated um, with rage. Uh, and I was also kind of sad. I really hoped I would have kept that. But I'm kind of glad it happened because it started me off on what I'm doing now, which is like buying something new every other week and well, every other month if I'm lucky. Uh, and um, yeah, it led me on to getting my first dripper, it led me on to getting into building and stuff like that. So that is really the reason why I got it. Um, I ended up going out the next day and buying like the best I could find with like 30 quid and um which happened to be a cool fire four so uh yeah that's how i ended up getting this little amazing tiny little mod um you'll notice on the button here so this thing like, this is basically it right um to go far for you you've got vent in here and here one for the board one for the battery um you've got an on off switch at the bottom here at the base Anakin's logo um Cool far four here, so looking pretty decent, mind you, considering how old this damn thing is. Um, and there is your 510, I, th I believe it's stainless steel thread, um, 510 thread, stainless steel um, connector. Uh, what's it called? Spring loaded. <laughs> there it is. Um, it will accommodate your 24. Fours and I believe maybe your twenty fives. Hang on, I got a twenty five kicking around here somewhere. Yeah, there we go. The Griffin twenty five. There we go. I just pick. Oh, this has been sitting for too long. Bear me, folks. Okay, so after cleaned that mess up, I left the tank line on its side for too long. Yes, so there's the Griffin twenty five on there. And as you can see, there is no overhang anywhere. So this will accommodate your 25s. Uh, your 26s, I think, will have a bit of overhang, and anything above that will definitely have overhang. Um, but yeah, as I said before, when I got this, I had no dripper, I didn't build, and my basis of was if it looked cool, I buy it. So I bought it, Siri. Ooh, God, I'm all over the place today. Yeah, so uh yeah, so you've got your base switch here which turns the device completely I need to stop leaving my tanks here. Anyway, 
Yeah, so if you flick this off, the whole thing will just shut off and there's no power to anything. Um, Anakin's little um, logo on the fire switch. And if you push that, it will bring up the screen. Now, if you want to change your wattage, you don't just click it. You have to sort of um, press and hold it. The thing will start blinking. It does round robin. 6 to 40 watt. Just do a little scroll, show you how fast it goes. It does go pretty damn fast. And then it will run robin. It does go in 0.5 watt increments. Um, what have you got here? Your resistance and your voltage. Yes, all the way right. And your battery level as well. Three clicks and it will lock the device. And as far as I remember, mm, let's see what else this thing can do. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So, if you push the push the fire button, the minus one together, it will change it to volts. Change it again. And it will go, oh, maybe not. Does it do like that? Or do I have to do it another way? Oh, push the plus and the fire button and it will go back to wattage. There we go, see it's been a while since I've used this thing. Um, yeah, so you push the, if it's in wattage mode, push the, um, the fire button and the minus button together to put it back into wattage, push the fire button and the plus button. And yeah. So I've got the Mutation V4S on here, uh, 0.16 pound, um, 40 watts. That's not too bad for a 40 watt vape. <laughs> yeah, um, let's take a look at the battery now. Give me two seconds. That's better. Yes, so the packaging. So you'll get this in this little plastic box with the lid. This is where your mod will be. Uh, for those who are starting off and you've still got those little plastic tank sort of things, if you take this little adapter here, screw in the adapter into the 510. And then put you can then put your like your plastic tanks, your caramizers and things like that on top of there. So that's that's a handy thing to have. Um, you do get a USB cable with this for your charging, which your charge port is right down there at the bottom. Um, take off this foam part. Your USB cable will be there as well as a US as a U USB user manual and some Anakin stickers to. Put wherever the fuck you want. Um, you also get a user manual, as I said, and a USB cable for charging. And the user manual is pretty big, and etc., etc., etc. We're all used to that sort of thing. Uh, on the back of it, does give you some specs on the device itself, which I will read out to you right now. So, in variable wattage, you'll get 3 to 7.5 volts adjustable by what by 0.1 volt increments. In wattage mode, 6 to 40 watts, as I've said. Um, the battery is 2000 mAh, as I said, 40 watt, maximum output amperage is 12 amps. Um, you can read resistances from all the way down to... 0 0.3, but I've just fired a 0 0.1. Something not right about that. Uh, you've got an on off switch, slow battery voltage, short circuit and atomizer protection, over discharge protection, and you can vape this whilst it's charging. So, uh, 2000 mile will probably get you through maybe half a day, maybe a little bit more if you're lucky. But, yeah. <laughs> Anakin Coolfire 4, a blast from the past. 
but yeah. I also did mention, um, no I didn't mention this, when you're using this, um, when you push the fire button it will go from green to yellow to red depending on its charge, um, but you do get a battery indicator on the screen as well, so you're always knowing how much charge you have, but yes, that was the Anakin Cool Fire 4, uh, first ever edition of it if I'm right, um, done. God, I'm getting worse and worse every fucking time. Sorry guys. Uh, yeah, so I'll put a link in the description below to where you can buy this if you're really wanting this. Um, I think it's Vaping Man I've got for the description, for the link. Um, £28. Basic mod. You can get stuff more powerful if you want, but it's a pretty decent beginner mod. I really enjoyed it. Um... But yeah, I will have links in the description below for where you can get those and to my Instagram as well. So, I'll see you later guys, until the next time.